Hey guys, things to look forward to in this video. Number one, low energy. Number two, me complaining about how little sleep I get. Number four, number three, a whole bunch of dog shots. Number four, really bad quality. And number five, me bitching about work. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Bizarre Individual, and today is the first day of the 25 days of manga, which I am super excited about, which you may not tell because I got two hours of sleep, but we are <laughs> about to get up and we're all eating, me and my dogs, and I am about to walk them and head to work. And it is technically not the start of it yet, but I thought I would film this intro before I went into work because I work overnight. So um, once 12 o'clock hits, whatever I start reading at 12 o'clock will technically be the first. So I am hoping to get a lot of reading done. Um, sometimes I can get like four or five volumes in and other times I can't get any. So we'll just kind of um, play it by ear. But I am just so excited about this readathon. If you all don't know what this readathon is, it is hosted by Natalie over at Pages and Panels, Aisha over at Mama Loves Manga, Dylan over at Dynamic Dylan, and Shay over at Shay Geeks Out. I was just kind of laughing because I, some people like ma uh, manga tubers and booktubers. In general, I call, I either call them like by their actual name or I call them by, just call them solely by their, like, their, the name that they created. I just thought it was kind of funny. So I was going through each one and seeing like what, who I called who. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, they created this, um, it's like a readathon type challenge. There's like a bingo. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you have to find like different things, which, um, I'll show you guys the, the bingo board like as I go through um but the whole entire main point of the goal is to read 25 volumes in 25 days leading up to Christmas so I am just so hyped um this is just going to give me the perfect opportunity to end the year with a bang and um yeah I'm just so excited I am so excited for everything that I read um in 2020 I read so many volumes. I am obsessed with so many different stories, um, ongoing stories, some completed stories. I've read a lot of good stuff this year and I'm just so hyped to kind of take this year out with a bang and start um, 2021 um, new and fresh. And I'm, I'm just really excited. <laughs> but anyways, I thought I would tell you that I do, this is not on my TBR, but I mean, if I finish like a volume, I'm still going to count it towards the number of, um, you know, the 25, but I do want to complete Tokyo Ghoul this year. I'm on volume 11. Uh, of co course, I'm going to finish this before um, the readathon starts because I have one more chapter that I'm going to read before 12 um, in this book. And then I'm going to finish 12 through 14. Um, so you'll see me reading that throughout the month. Um, but as of right now, um, at 12 o'clock, I am planning, if I have time at work, to start reading Stupid Love Comedy by, and I was recommended this book by the Panda Post, one of my really good friends, and she just said that I would love it, so I had to pick it up when I found it for half off, and it's by Yen Press, and um, I am going to count this as three volumes because it was originally three volumes in Japan. But anyways, I got to get ready for work and I will update you guys whenever I have uh, finished some reading. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is snowing. So it is going to be snowing on December 1st. Perfect time for Christmas and to get in the spirit and I'm just so excited and yeah. And I am off work and I'm waiting for Adam to get out of his doctor's appointment. But I wanted to quickly update you on what I read last night. I got um, three volumes done, as I'm counting this as uh, three volumes, because there's originally three volumes in Japanese, like I said. And 
yeah, I'm trying not to show you Aaron's car. I would just blame it on her being messy, but uh, my car is probably just as bad, so let's just be honest. Anyways, let's talk about the manga, since this is a manga vlog. Um, yeah, this is called Stupid Love Comedy, and um, my thoughts are I really enjoyed it. I will definitely read it again. I think my main issue was that I digested it all in one sitting, and um, I don't know, I just don't think it's that good to digest in that sitting. It's very, um, like, l comedic, and they have different, like, episodes and different days of, like, whenever they, um, whenever they interact, they have different days at the office. It is, um... This chick right here, she is a mangaka, which I've been spelling mangaka wrong, um, artist, and she, and this is her, her editor right here, and gives her deadlines, and she's kind of, uh, like, she's really good at drawing, she's really good at what she does, she just hasn't gotten her foot, like, in something, like, huge yet, she finally gets a good deal, like, a good, um, offer on Holbork becoming into a series and she actually gets published into um I think more than like one volume and she also wants to like further her career so she apprentices uh, under like someone else becomes someone else's assistant just to like get better education and she is always late she it's like, it's kind of weird because it, I guess it's just a comedic aspect, but she, um, it's, she's like, it's like she doesn't care at all. She actually, she doesn't care, but then yet, like, she really does care. It's, I, not, probably not explaining it accurately, but, um, she, just her personality is really, like, chill and laid back, and then she becomes really spastic. And it's definitely a shoujo, um, to where she has all these pretty guys either liking her or she's falling in love with a guy that doesn't love her. And, um, there's a playboy that, like, just kind of uses her. And it was a lot of fun. Like I said, I definitely wish I didn't read it all in one sitting. I think it kind of was just too much all at once. Um, I guess I would rate it three and a half, um, 3.7. Like, it, I feel like it wasn't a four, but it was close to a four. If I could rate individual, like, stories in here, it, some of them was definitely gonna, would definitely be four. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'm really glad that I read it. I love reading stuff about otakus and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I guess I will leave it at that. And, um, yeah, only the first day. I'm about to stop my fourth volume of manga. I'm not even going to reach for it because I don't want to accidentally show you how messy our car is. Um, but I'm going to read Haven't You Heard? My name is Saka Mar Sakamoto, and I'm going to read volume one now. I don't know if I can finish it before he gets out of his appointment, but we will see. Um, and yeah, I will update you guys hopefully before I go back in to work tonight. So, you know, when you like don't eat for ever because you're too busy and then you eat like a huge meal at one time and you overeat and then now you feel really sick. Well, that's just what I just did. <laughs> but anyways, last night at work. Uh, I'm gonna need to go take a nap, I'm so tired. I read, no, I finished volume two, the first night of the um, manga, 25 days of manga. I about said the manga freakathon. My bad. Then, 
I read, no, I read volume one. Okay, so I, okay, sorry. Well, I'm out of it. Yeah, so I did, I was correct. I read volume two of Haven't You Heard I'm Sakamoto. And I read volume three last night. Um, what was funny is I read more the night before and we were so much more busier than the night before. And last night it was more chill, but I think I was just like really tired. And yeah, so I didn't read as much, but I got two volumes done. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. I brought volume four of Haven't You Heard I'm Talking About It? And um, I was going to start this one, but I definitely um, decided not to start this one yet because um, I didn't want to start anything new because I couldn't really like pay attention to it, like learning new characters. And, you know, I wanted my full attention to learning, um, I know this is volume two, but um, I meant stop volume one and read volume two about to work with me. But anyways, yeah, um, the doctor's appointment went great. My meeting went great. Um, yeah, I fell asleep um, at the wheel driving, so that wasn't good at all. But anyways, I am home now. I am going to, um, I ate, I'm going to probably pass out. I do have to wake up by 11 so if i get um i don't even know what time it is now it's like six six o'clock so i might get like a, a good power nap in is what i'm hoping for if i can at least get like three hours of sleep in then um yeah i can read some more tonight at like 11 30 so i'm excited um i don't know what rachel's doing tonight but um we're gonna to try to call each other and maybe read over FaceTime. So that should be fun. But um, I think she's off walk now, but I need sleep. I'm rambling. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm delusional as crap. Um, I literally drank a whole bunch of Mountain Dew and I hate the taste of Mountain Dew, but I'm broke and I needed caffeine. So I probably drank five cans in one hour at Mountain Dew, which is awful for you. But that was me. Huh, how long have I been awake? I got three hours of sleep yesterday and I woke up at like two, 2 p.m. yesterday I woke up and it is 6 p.m. next day. So you can do the math, I can't even think, but I've rambled enough. Um, I really want to actually read right now, but I'm like, I can't, I just can't. I'm just delusional as crap. And my dog is chewing on Adam's jacket. Little legs, will you please stop? So maybe they'll let me sleep, we'll see, but I will update you guys later. Wow, I didn't even tell you about the manga. Wow, I'm out of it. So, that's volume four. Please give me a second. <laughs> okay, so haven't you heard, haven't you heard I'm at Sakamoto? I am really enjoying this. Me and Sky started the anime for it um, and loved it. I think we watched the first two or three episodes. It pretty much follows the anime, so the first um, volume of this was just exactly what I remember it. Um, I don't know if it's going to continue, but it seems like it. it's a four volume series and it's a, I believe, 13 episode um, anime. So yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Um, best boy right here. And I can kind of can see, it's pretty much him getting into shenanigans and people being jealous of him and not liking him because he's so popular and beautiful and everything else. And I can kind of see that because it's like, I think he's hot as fuck, but I don't want to think he's hot as fuck because he's so perfect. It just pisses me off. So the villains in here um, are kind of relatable and I kind of side with them. So there's that. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to read volume four, and that's the conclusion. And, um, uh, I really want to read more tonight. 
I get more knocked out, but I'm so freaking tired. I think I, my plan is, is I'm going to read volume four, finish the series, and that would be th three books for today, so that's good. Um, I think I'm overdoing it, but it's kind of like weird. It's like, I'm so delusional, like I don't even know if I can sleep that long, but anyways. Um, so I'm gonna try to sleep a little bit, go pick up Adam, call Rachel, re finish volume four tonight, and call it a night. So I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys. Do you wanna be shown Hudson? Hudson, look. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I would up quickly update you guys on the anime that I'm watching. It's one of the prompts to watch a manga ab... ab I never going to be able to say it. Watch a mo... abitation? Anyways, so I decided that I was going to continue Dean Angel. Um, I already watched the first season, like, th the 13 episodes, and I watched uh, two more of this. Hey guys, good morning. It is the fifth day of the 25 days of manga, and I haven't been the best blogger ever, but I have been reading a lot. I think I've read, I've read nine volumes so far, so that's good. Um, yesterday I read volumes one and two of Love Me For Who I Am by... And this is a um, Seven Seas title. I believe it's going to be four volumes long, um, short, but um, very bittersweet. <laughs> I went into this knowing the premise of it, and um, it did definitely did not disappoint me. Um, it made me very emotional and um, made me want to cry, <laughs> which is really strange because I used to never get emotional, and now I'm getting super emotional on everything. But anyways, um, Love Me For Who I Am is pretty much about this cafe called Cafe Question. And it is about, I need to get the this right because I don't want to mess up my, um, my, explaining of who people are um but it's pretty much these humans that work at this cafe and they wear maid outfits and um the premise sounds kind of funny but each human that works there identifies as something different whether it's their um, sexuality or gender or who they are as a person. Um, each character uh, identifies as um, something. And I really enjoy this because even the stronger characters that know who they are um, still go through, like, struggles and stuff, but then yet, um, it also shows, like, characters just becoming who they are. So, um, yeah, it was just really touching, really moving. Cannot wait for the third volume to come out, and I think I have to wait until April, um, which is, like, right, in, right before my birthday, so, um, I know what I'm going to be doing on my birthday. Um, but anyways, I think I'm going to start collecting series like I used to. I've really been enjoying, like, reading, like, up-to-date series. Um, like, when it comes out with everyone. Because then I actually know what people are talking about. And the hype is real and stuff. But it just pisses me off too much to wait. So I think I'm going to do what I used to do. Where I waited until the series was complete. And then get it. But, um, 
definitely go check this out. Um, there is this on, I, I feel like I'm being rude saying like this or, um, this human being, um, identifies as neither sex. So they are neither a boy or a girl or a man or woman. Um, and then there's, I'll show you the back. Um, this, um, if I get, get these mixed up, I apologize. This, um, they identify as a man, I believe, that likes to cosplay and, um, likes to wear, um, um, I guess it would be cross-dressing, cosplay in, in the, the opposite sex, I believe. This chick right here was cyan science born a boy and is is a chick is a female this guy right here identifies as a male he is um identifies as a gay man but um i wouldn't even say cross dresses um wears women's clothes make definitely enjoys wearing women's clothes, but, um, I guess started wearing women's clothes because he was bullied for being gay, so he wanted to, um, be able to be out with his boyfriend in public without being judged. Um, there's also, um, another, um, older, like, mentor that, um, they were born a, I don't even want to say they were born a, because they weren't born cyan, it's hard to say. Anyways, they are she, and, um, they're like the mentor, and they're, they're the, she is the owner of the, um, cafe, and, yeah, it's, then there's another side character, which is their best friend, and I'm not going to even ruin that for you, but I was kind of proud of myself because, um, I kind of guessed what was going to happen, which, um, I don't think it was, like, obvious. They were kind of pulling them off as something else. Oh, I need to shut up. I'm going to, I want to ruin it so bad. But anyways, um, wow, I'm shaky. Sorry about that. I just woke up. But anyways, um, yeah, so... It's just so good. I love all the characters. I love the character development. There's, um, a triangle relationship, and I'm loving it so much. Even though that there's, um, you're rooting for one of the triangles, and, um, also, you know, in triangles, there's actually, I think, like, all three of them are kind of, like, trying to find out the identity and in trying to find out the identity they're trying to find out what sex they like and does it matter what sex they like is it just the person and oh wow i've went on for seven minutes but this is just so good um yeah there is a review on it that was that wasn't like so great and um i like of course, respect their review because it's their opinion, but I also feel like everything that they said was kind of wrong about this manga was that, in my opinion, they could have made th that person that didn't like its character, and um, I'm not explaining this well, that person could have wrote a character for the story and fit it in with exactly how they felt, at least in my opinion, and um, the story would have still went smoothly because it's kind of just all about everyone's different. Everyone um, feels differently. No one feels the same. And 
um, yeah, it was just so amazing and touching and, um, yeah, so anyways, I think I'm going to end this here. I have an extra hour to get ready, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I've been really slacking on Twitter, which I'm kind of upset about. I've been really slacking on Instagram. I should have pre-took my pictures like I wanted to, to just upload them when I had time. Um, like take pictures of all my TBR and then the ones that I read upload because that would have made sense and I could have done that like when I wasn't at home like in between things but um, yeah kind of sucked at that but um, I don't know if I want to go back and try to catch up or not I mean it's only the fifth day I still have 20 days but I have been doing the bingo board challenges I just haven't updated you guys because I suck but um hmm I've been watching D and Angel, which is the manga Abit, Abit, I'm never gonna be able to say that, habitation of the manga. So I've really been enjoying that. Um, I started that last month, like the first season. So I was like, well, what anime can I watch? I'm not gonna have much time. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna watch season two and count that because, you know, it still counts and it still isn't, you know, it might not be the 26 episodes in this month, but it's going to be 13, and I think I'm on 15, so I'm, I'm on 16, so, um, anyways, I, what else, I need to just write down the bingo board so I can read off what challenges I completed, because, um, I'm not technical, and, um, the, so the software that I use to edit isn't on my computer, it's on my phone, so I've even tried to, like, put it, like, up in, you know, the stuff I'm talking about right here, and I just don't think that they offer that, um, I forgot even what I use, I use Vixen, and it's, like, a 10.99 um, like, editor, so if you all know something that's around that price, or even, like, $20, or something that you can put things like that on your phone, um, let me know, I, um, would appreciate it because that would make it a lot easier but um i yeah i need to update you guys better on the bingo board but anyways i will talk to you guys later you you're right oh my gosh i don't know how to act with the keurig pork chop show them your, look, your cute little legs What do you mean? My coffee's gone. I didn't touch it. What? Oh, wait, no, I forgot the pages. <laughs> are you gonna make some more? Yeah, yeah. And then there's a random goat. But it's really sweet, so. Don't, Where's the other dog? There's don't a bear. Put in the background. Okay, Erin, explain your lovely paint job. Hi. So I decided to paint my house. And it was hard. So I stopped. So we're at the dump and I just think it's hilarious that they used trash. Probably no one else would think it's funny, but and I'm trying not to get a random guy that doesn't know he's being recorded. Hey. But I think it's funny that they used like random like old trash to identify when the things are closed to open. I don't know why I think it's funny, but I do. I think it's so creative and hilarious. Anyways, that's my update. Hey guys, look what I got in the mail today from Lindsay Tut, an early Christmas gift, and I am so excited to open it. I have no idea what's inside. If you hear Mariah in the background, I apologize. They decided to start eating as soon as I started filming, so there's that. But anyways, I am too excited to wait on this, so we're just going to do our best opening it with one hand. Maybe I should have pre-opened it. I don't know. Hey 
and for the goods. Let's put the note aside for now. Whole bunch of tea. A long time ago, she did say that she, she asked me if I like tea. So sweet. I'm so excited for this tea to try it. Um, let's see. Oh, nice. She um, used to always get these subscription boxes for tea and stuff. I will link her channel down below. Go check her out. She has like manga hauls, book hauls, and so much manga in here. Um, wow. So, Captain Hallark, Space Pirate, Volume 1. Volume 2. I've been actually really wanting to read this for a while. Volume 3. Volume 4. Five and six. I really like these covers. They're really, really pretty. I don't know much about this, but when I was interested in getting it, it was already on a, like a later volume, so I never started it. And now I have it. So thank you so much, volume eight. Wow. Volume 9. Volume 10. Let's see. Hmm. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Then I got this, which I believe is a one-shot. Seven Little Sons of Dragons. A collection of seven stories. looks really good and I love one shots and the creator of um, delicious and dungeon awesome okay I love Del delicious and dungeon oh wow another series that I really wanted to get into but um, by the time that I found out what it was it was like in vo like volume like seven or something Children of the Whales, Volume 1. Talk about beautiful co covers, <laughs> Volume 2. Oh, I am so excited. This just made my whole entire day. I'm about to go into work, so. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to be thinking about these all night long at work to go home and, like, actually, like, go through them. If I finish my TBR early, I'm going to be probably reading this. Wow. She literally just gave me a whole entire another shelf of <laughs> a manga, which I highly appreciate. Oh wow, that one is just gorgeous. I always save my notes and put them like on my shelf. Oh, you can see I have one of her notes from um, I think last Christmas, the Christmas before that, right there still. Let's see. This is box one of two. Oh my lord. <laughs> This is a series that I always wanted to get into, but I don't know anything about it. So this is incredible. Okay. But yeah, thank you so much, Lindsay Tuts. I probably am going to start Children of the Whales sometime this month. Um, I don't know how, oh, this one, this is kind of a disturbing cover. I'm probably gonna read that one first. 
I do have a lot on my TBR to be read, so I'm not really sure if I have time to get to it or not this month, but I'm really looking forward to well, reading all of them, really, because I've been wanting to read Captain Hollop for a while as well. But anyways, um, I will update you guys um, probably tomorrow. I have to work tonight and obviously can't film at work. And then I do my 18-hour um, shifts for three nights in a row. So I'm not filming, I don't think, at all during that time. So I am planning on still trying to read a little bit at work and stuff when I can, if I can. And, um, <laughs> I was going to end this vlog on Saturday, but I think I'm just going to end it on m Monday and then, um, not film anything and then do a vlog for my 24 hour readathon I'm doing with Rachel. I think that's going to be like the best plan and then do a, another vlog for uh, 25 days, the manga, the last part of it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I will um, update you guys on everything that I get done tonight and everything that I read um, yesterday. Okay, so Mariah is guarding the food from everyone, even though she cannot eat dry food. But she just growls at them. And... <laughs> Come on, guys, get the food. And they'll grab a handful of it, run over there. Set it down. I think he only got one, but that one right there, Juno, will grab like a handful of the food and run over and get it. She's so mean, and I don't know why. Mariah, why are you so mean? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Sorry it was all over the place. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to update you right now on what I've been reading because I've been doing like couple chapters here, a couple chapters there. So I've read, sorry, I'm out of breath. <sighs> um, I read Spy Family, the first two chapters, absolutely loving it. I did have it, I do have it physically. One, I can't find some of my manga, I don't know where I put it. But anyways, I've been reading on the Shonen Jump app. Um, I've been paying like, I think it's like $2 a month and I've never used it. And I've been paying it for like, I think it's like two years now so I was like I'm gonna take advantage of this and that way I won't have to carry around my physical copy at work so yeah I read those two chapters really enjoyed it really like the characters the way it's going um I'm I don't have volumes two or three yet um but I read it's a five volume series so I am super excited about that it's shorter instead of longer um if y'all collect you know but anyways, um, I'm really loving it, so I'm excited to continue. Hopefully I will continue to love it. So I'll probably finish um, off what they have on the Shonen Jump app, which is I think up to volume three, and then just eventually buy it down the road since I know it's not gonna go out of print anytime soon. But yeah, anyways, um, so I've been doing that. So let me switch hands so I can cut this manga. Okay, good. Um, I finished this last night and I enjoyed it. I, um, it definitely kind of follows the anime and, um, in the manga, I kind of got some of the, the characters confused, which I think is just me being stupid. So, um, but I did enjoy it. I'm really looking forward to, I have volume two, so I'm going to read volume two tonight. So, um, yeah, it's, I'm actually kind of really excited to continue with this manga because the anime, um, I didn't like the whole entire first, the anime covers the first two of uh, two mangas and then a little bit um at a little bit of the manga at the end so um i like a little section of the manga later on in the series so um this just has so much more to it and um in the anime the age gap kind of really bothered me because it's like they waited so long to be together like why not just wait like another year to when he's graduated and he's out of school. Not that that would make it better, but like, it would be legal. So, um, I don't know. Um, we're really having a fun time with this. Not sure if I'm like enjoying it a lot. Um, I enjoy it, but not like, oh, I'm enjoying this a lot. So anyways, 
yeah, next up. Only with the first chapter of this, um, Heaven's Design Team, and this, guys, is the first chapter at least. I don't know how the other series is going to be. It's going to be a five-volume series. Um, I love it. I love the first chapter. The premise is just so, so different. Um, it's about these um, group of, like, engineers, scientists, uh, really smart people that um, design animals, and they help God out with creation. It is hilarious. It has a lot of Bible references in it. Um, sorry, I'm so shaky. I'm like exhausted and um, I'm about late for work. So I really wanted to update you so I could edit this vlog maybe at work if I have time. But anyways, um, yeah, so I read the first chapter of that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much, I've been reading a lot, so I'm quite ex like happy about that. Um, haven't been vlogging the greatest, but um, like I said before, the 24-hour readathon's coming. I'm gonna vlog for all that, make that a vlog, and then any other material that I have in, for the 25 days, make that a final vlog. So there's two vlogs coming um, that I'm excited about. Hopefully I do better on that, and if you can hear a little like drinking water, I apologize. But anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys are reading. <laughs>